Martin Luther King was able to become a little known Baptist minister to the leader of our civil rights movement. He was able to become this one man. So a lot of times we say, what can one person do? One person can do a lot. Right. This one man went from not being able to go inside any establishment, now several businesses and, and like the banks and the post offices, they closed down just because of him. Amen. So always remember that you can do something as one person. Um, we're going to have a few of our Tower of Power men Amen. come out and pay homage to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And they're going to do little excerpts of the I Have a Dream speech. Amen. Following that, Sister Irene Lewis is going to come forward with some of our kids and talk to you about the six principles of nonviolence. And then we're going to have a congregational song uh, by all of us. Uh, and so right now, I'm going to ask Brother Dion Calhoun to come forward, Mr. John Miller, Brother Marvin Martin, Mr. Corey Johnson, he didn't want me to say it, but Pastor about. <laughs> Brother Otis Wimley, Coach Jeff Forback, Ronnie Ellis, and bringing up the ribs, Mr. Ron Brown. Amen. We have come to our nation's capital to cash a check. When the architects of our republic wrote the magnificent words of the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence, they were signing a promissory note to which every American was to fall heir. This note was a promise that all men, yes, black men, as well as white men, would be guaranteed the unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I have a dream today. Amen. It is obvious that America has defaulted on this promissory note in so far as her citizens of color are concerned. Instead of honoring the sacred obligation, America has given the Negro people a bad check. A check which has come back marked insufficient funds. But we refuse to believe that the bank of justice is bankrupt. We refuse to believe that there are insufficient funds in the great box of opportunity of this nation. So we have come to cash this check, a check that will give us upon demand the riches of freedom and the security of justice. I have a dream today. All right. All right. All right. Now is the time to rise from the dark and desolate valley of segregation to the sunlit path of racial justice. Now is the time to lift our nation from the quicksands of racial injustice to the solid rock of brotherhood. Now is the time to make justice a reality for all of God's children. I have a dream today. Amen. 1963, there's not an end, but a beginning. Those who hope that the Negro needed blow out steam now be content with how a rude awakening in the nation return to the business of duty. There will be neither nor tranquility in America until a Negro is granted his citizen's right. The whirlwinds of revolt will continue to shake the foundation of our earth until the bright day of justice emerges. I have a dream. Amen. When will you be satisfied? Hmm. We can never be satisfied as long as the Negro is the victim of unspeakable police brutality. We can never be satisfied as long as our body is heavy with the fatigue of travel cannot gain logic. Hmm. Hmm. In the motels of the highways and the hotels of the city. We cannot be satisfied as long as the Negro's basic mobility is from a smaller ghetto to a larger one. We cannot be satisfied as long as the children, our children, are stripped of their selfhood and robbed of their dignity by signs stating whites only. We cannot be satisfied as long as a Negro in Mississippi cannot vote and a Negro in New York City thinks that he has not a reason to vote. 
No, no. We are not satisfied, and we will not be satisfied until justice rolls down like a roar, like water, and righteousness like a mighty stream. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I am, I am the dream that I can get on any bus, airplane, train, or ship and sit anywhere I choose. I am the dream that I can walk through the front door of any establishment. I am the dream that I can go to any college and become a doctor, lawyer, or even the president of the United States. And I can vote, but once I'm a legal age. And that all boys and girls of all races can sit down and have a conversation without the fear of being lynched, hung, or murdered. I am the dream. So let freedom ring from every hill and molehill, from every mountainside, let freedom ring. And when this happens, we allow freedom to ring. When we let it ring from every village, from every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men, white men, Jews, Gentiles, Protestants, and Catholics, we will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Let freedom ring. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty. We are free at last.